welcome back to the channel everybody and we are about to introduce our new kayak one of two one is used one's brand new but it is the pelican mode 110 catch kayak and it's a nice rig Okay, some of the features on this kayak, let's start up front. We have rod tip holders. So when you lay our rods down, we can put the tips up underneath these rubber flaps and protect them. Then we have a nice mesh screen here to hold stuff underneath. You can just pull it out, put a dry bag or what have you underneath the front end here. So there is no um, little covers or anything for this. Everything's out in the open. We do have rails on each side to put the scotty mounts. So then you got your foot wrists, which easily slide back and forth. Uh, nice neoprene floor liner, keep things quiet. You got your drink holders on both sides here and they're raised so stuff doesn't go into the kayak and get wet and fill with water. You got a really nice seat here and it's called the Eagle Boost or Ergo Boost seat. Um, nice more of a neoprene rather than a regular pad so it dries out quick and mesh and nice thing with this seat is you fold it over then you have another platform and that is your booster so you don't have to keep taking the seat out and raise it up or down so it's like a booster and then underneath that is also storage um, I do have a little dry box up in there and uh, it's it's tight believe me but it comes out <laughs> but uh, I got a dry box hold my wallet and stuff underneath there so then it just folds right back up again and then on the back end here we got more bungees to hold our crate and everything and then on the back do have a skeg to keep tracking but we can just take that skeg fold it up get it out of the way so it's gonna if you hit bottom or something it's gonna fold out of the way and it drops back in place so and this kayak is 10 feet 8 inches long uh, 34 and 1 quarter inches wide it weighs 64 pounds um, has a weight capacity of 375 pounds so I'm pushing 250 so that's that should hold me so but we are going to take it out later and uh, try it out make sure everything works good make sure I can balance with it and uh, I'm doing some additions to it before we uh, get out of the water with it. So just picked it up the other night and I'm excited. We're gonna get out. So that's a, the Pelican Catch series, but it's the Mode 110. And if you uh, go on Pelican's website, uh, they're only available in Canada. So off the website, but we got ours at Farm Fleet. So uh, really hard to find there too, actually. But so I'm just gonna get a dry bag from underneath that mesh, and uh, let me show you with the paddle. What you can do is just take it and slide it underneath there. It does have a groove right in here, so you just set your paddle off to the side. It does have the regular paddle retainers too. If you just want to put the paddle off to the one side, you can pull that over and just hook it and the paddle will hold on the side there for you. So it uh, it has some nice features but I got it because of how wide it is and how it will hold <laughs> the weight 375 pounds so we're hoping it's gonna be stable 
we are gonna get fish finders. Um, it does have three rod holders. Uh, your two standards in the back. And then it has one up front here, which some people might think that's kind of weird, but when you get a fish, you can take and set your rod in there while you're unhooking the fish. So, comes in handy, but just a nice setup. Uh, pretty excited about it. So, let's add a few things on here and we're gonna get ready to go on the water. Okay, so here I got it all set up, ready to fish now. Uh, got GoPro cameras there. That's a GoPro 8, which I really hate. That's why I call it an 8. You hate. Um, in the seat, there is pockets to hold tools. We'll see how comfortable that is on my leg. But I'll probably come up with something different. This is that box I was telling you about that was behind the seat, which I have another camera in there. And I'll throw my wallet in there and stuff too. So, then I got another camera up here. How I did that one is I used pipe insulation on a selfie stick, put it in here, and then I can raise it and lower it, turn it however I see fit. So, that should work pretty good. Got my crate back here with my tackle. Got two rods in the main holders and one rod in the center. Got my St. Croix right there and a small net. And on the paddle, I do have a paddle leash. And the kayak does come with the scupper plugs. So if you don't want the water inside the kayak, it does come with the plugs as well. And then there's an addition that you can put on. You take off this bracket and, you know, like I said, this does fold up and stuff, which makes it nice. But if for some reason you don't like that, paddling's too hard, you get this bracket, which is an option. So you take that off, put this one in, and you have a trolling motor bracket for the back of it. So. That's about a $70 upgrade. Um, you can get them off their website. I was lucky that they had one left in the store. So, but I don't think they ordered that many. But yeah, just a nice troll motor bracket that goes on the back and it's set to go. So we are ready to fish. We got the camera set, got a paddle ready, and I bought an extendable paddle. So just uh, so I can get it where I want it. I do have the scupper plugs in right now. I did not get my dry bag yet, so I don't have a dry bag in here. But, but we got the GoPros up and ready to go. Ready to do some filming and fishing. Actually, this little this little island over here. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Look at that pontoon boat's uh, hitting ground. You seem pretty comfortable in that kayak. Yeah. How about the life jacket? Whoa, jeez, holy crap. You got a fish? I got something. Chatterbait. Oh crap, it's going around me. Look out. That's a big wave. Oh, 
big old carp. No way. Yeah. This is anyway. What were you pulling out of? I'm pulling out of backlash and it was sitting on bottom. I've never oh, I thought it was a, uh, a crayfish tag. Probably. <laughs> I don't want to catch a car. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, hang on, buddy. Let me get the hook out. Pretty upset at that. He was pretty upset at that. Hold on, let me see it. You want me to take a picture of you with the dad? Oh, I got the camera here. Okay. And you lift them at the same time helps. So First fish out of the kayak. Carp don't have measuring boards, we don't know how big it is. But common carp, ladies and gentlemen. On a chatter bait. Looks like a goldfish. So. It's really gold. It's really nice. It's a big old carp. Touch it. Don't touch it. That's weird. <laughs> Sexy little lips you got there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoop. Back in you go. That's about that's a <laughs> common carp while you're pulling on a backlash. Help. Danced right off the back end. I ran right off the front end of the boat <laughs> backwards. So I think I'm good. Derek in his ascend kayak. So we can show that too. But yes, the uh, catch mode 110 is a very stable kayak. And uh, it's easy to fish out of by proving that big old carp that we caught. So we're going to uh, get Derek in his kayak and we're going to see how far he can lean that one over too. No. Yes, Derek is an unpaid actor. And are you, are you doing a thing? I'm doing a thing, Derek. So, and yes. we're going to see how far he can lean that one over. That little ascent is actually really stable for being narrow. Whoa, <laughs> he got water in the kayak. Hi. And he's going to stand up. Whoa. Stand in it. Little <laughs> okay, now he's getting carried away. And he's gonna go, oh, nope, he's not. <laughs> now we're back to fishing. <laughs> and he pulls the scuffer plug so he can drain the water out of it. What's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the Ascend kayak is a very stable kayak as well. And how do you like fishing out of it? Pretty good if I caught fish. <laughs> Yep, we're, oh, good. I like it a lot. we're in the Dead Sea, so let's see if he makes it back to shore in time, because we're still filming. <laughs> so yes, he's a little more, has a little more agility than I do. Okay, so that's uh, kind of the review on the, uh, on the Pelican code 110 catch and on Derek's Ascend 10T and you can see how stable they both were and I can't even see myself in this camera because of the sunlight but hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the little review 
We did catch a fish in the Dead Sea of Lake Nishanik in uh, West Salem, Wisconsin. So if you ever want good carp fishing, probably come here, but anything else, eh, hasn't been so great. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, we're gonna do a little bonus footage of my son's Ascend 10T kayak. Um, Still working on the crate for the back of it. Um, this is pretty much a no frills kayak and I uh, wanted to get something. It's not my son's, it's a family kayak, but I'm glad that my son is using it because it worked out really, really well. So it's the Ascent 10T. I believe you get these at Cabela's. I got it used for like 350 bucks, so. I think it was a good deal. Uh, no frills, does have rails on it, uh, which will do a paddle holder and maybe a fish finder. But uh, and then it has the cover here, which can store his wallet and stuff like that. It keeps things dry. And then it came with the scupper plugs too, which seemed to have worked. So I was a little leery about the scupper plugs because they're such a hard rubber. But they stayed put the whole day we were out fishing. So, and we didn't really catch no fish except for one carp. But like I said, it's the Ascend 10T. And I think for $350, that was a good deal. So, so we got two kayaks that we are using to do more outdoor adventures and uh, we pretty much stayed under a thousand dollars for the pair so I think that's a great deal but this uh, ascent seemed to work really well for Derek he uh, it wasn't tippy really at all and <laughs> we got a little video of him jumping in it so uh, it seemed uh, I'd, I'd recommend this ascent or what it is uh, just a bare bones kayak the seat you can do three positions on the seat uh, he liked it all the way back so but uh for a bare bones kayak and being so but looks narrow I thought it was really good so seemed to work well so a little bonus with the ascend kayak if people are curious about them um, they're uh, they're a decent deal, and if you can find them used, because I think they run around 700 new, but uh, if you can find them used for three, four hundred dollars, they'd be a good deal.